Hey guys, good afternoon. I know it's afternoon. Actually, it's not afternoon, yet, but it's getting close. I mean, it's probably like 11 o'clock. I got a really late start today. I slept late. The temperature is like absolutely, like just, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's perfect. And I mean, it's a beautiful day, not much wind, and it is about to get windy. The rest of this month, it's supposed, not the whole rest of the month, but the next couple of weeks is supposed to be windy. So, I better make something happen today um, as far as uh, the last nice day. Now, I'm liable to go out here and not catch a single fish. And if that happens, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I don't know why I talk to you guys. Y'all never talk back. You never, you just look at me. You just sit here and stare at me, and I'm kind of getting sick of it. So, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to try to catch some fish. Okay, got one, a little small, he's not going to have much meat on him, I'll let him go. It's good though. A little trout. A little trout. Right, right. Okay. The water has warmed up from last week. I hadn't been since like the middle of last week and it's the middle of this week. So I've been gone for a week and I was afraid that water warming up four or five degrees now knocked them off the bite. So we'll see, but that's the first trout. better he might be a keeper let me check I'm supposed to have orders to keep some fish in the prospects here looking promising Let's see if we can't trick another one He wants to be a keeper though one day. He's got big plans. Big plans for that little guy. And I believe in him. I believe. I believe he can do it. I really do. This one's pulling a little better. Maybe a keeper? Ah, uh, no. No. Just like that last one. Uh, he might. I'm going to measure him. I hook my shrimp right where that little horn starts right there. Barely in the under the skin or under the shell that way it can swim it was a little trout they just didn't get it all right let's give him another shot i believe in uh i believe in giving people second chances there you go hey hey <laughs> Another one that's not going to be a keeper, but he's close. Long and lean. That trout will turn every head in town. Sure will. Long and lean, every young man's dreams turned every head in town. Let's do it again. 
Shall we watch? What's the best view for y'all? Right here? Now you can see this water is just pouring in here in about 30 or 45, no, nah, probably in about 45 minutes. All of these shelves over here to the right that you see, that'll all be underwater. That's how fast this tide comes in if you're not used to fishing over here on the Georgia coast or the, the east coast, Florida, and Georgia, South Carolina, all that. When that tide starts coming in, it rolls in. So if you're used to fishing on the Gulf Coast, this would probably, this would definitely be a lot different than what you're used to. Get them one and a half foot tides. Over here you get more like five to seven foot tides twice a day. Contestant. Another one. Looks like he's probably just barely under keeper size. Another short one. Not doing a good job of uh catching keepers like I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna have to do better. Because my supervisor is at home. My supervisor is not out of town. So I need to uh, need to do my job is what I need to do. Feels better anyway. That is so, I mean, that's on the dot, but I don't, I don't like to keep them that are exactly on the, on the line. But I've had five, six, like, real close, you know. This one feels like pretty cool. I'll video. I'll video. Like another decent one. After I got off the phone there with my supervisor, she uh, inspired me to catch bigger fish. She just told me, look, you're gonna have to catch bigger fish, or I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm gonna have to find another fisherman. I was like, oh, oh now well, I can do it, I can do it, I'll, I'll take care of it. So I'm doing better. That's leadership right there. When you can inspire your people just with a phone call. It's kind of a little fire lit under them there. Okay, I think that's a keeper too. Man, I'm inspired. Thank you for calling me. 
Let me know what's going on. This one's not a keeper, I don't think. Press on nonetheless. Keeper. Yeah, after, uh, you know, when my supervisor, she sent me a couple of memorandums and, you know, she called me. We had a very uh, good discussion about my job description, you know, very brief, but, um, you know, we got that kind of sorted out. And then she issued me uh, some directives. And, uh, you know, after all that, I just, you know, I just did better. I don't, my focus got better. Uh, my, I don't know. I was just a better. I just did a better job. I got, I got these fish. I got these fish in the live well now. Uh, and you know, even though that you know she pointed out that uh, personnel department was concerned with some of my problematic, you know, a history of problematic behavior. Uh, that I've straightened that out now and uh, I've caught these fish so I feel confident um, you know things are going to work out for me looks like another good one It's a little one. Not gonna, it's not going to do it right there. on a high note plus I don't have any more shrimp so kind of made it an easy decision for me not a bad day guys not bad at all 
caught a good number of fish, got a good number of keepers that I can take home and clean. We can eat. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did today. And uh, keep watching. Maybe I can get Paul out here with me in a day or two. You never know. I may surprise y'all.